Hmm? Tear down off an old electric motor I'd laying around if anyone wants to see how they get inside. Shit. Depending on the parallel here, maybe a little bit over 500. And the gears apparently we connect all the cables. Pretty basic stuff if you know about this, which I don't. <laughs> Non size, of course. And of course, the right size misses. It's missing. As always. Well, fuck that. Well, didn't find the right stuff, so this will have to do. Hopefully it works at least. <laughs> at least some use. I never really seen the inside of this. It seemed quite interesting for me. Well, I know how they're supposed to look, but I never cracked one of these big larger motors open. I don't know why they put the screws in and then paint the shit. Well, not shit, they I guess they don't unscrew when they do that. Now we gotta get that thing out. Otherwise that thing won't go out over that. Well, I don't know if you can see that, but it simply slides out. Oh, that's not what I expected. But I think I'm gonna... ...push the entire... I don't know what that is, but commutating thing. Uh, yeah, commutating. It's um, hmm. it seems to be an induction motor. A induction motor. Cool. Never seen one of those before. That's how that thing there looks. And it isn't like a brushed motor, well, it doesn't have any brushes. Because there isn't any, the windings isn't in here, they're... Oh, out here. That's greasy. <laughs> Let's see if we can get that thing out of there. Don't think so, but I'll give it a try. And there's the fan for cooling the thing. Well, 
more screws. And the last one. And that should be easy to come off now. Yep. And there's where the bearing sits. The one that's on that one. I do not think that one will go out easy. Nope. Well, there's the inside of this motor if anyone wants to see that. Not because I think so, because everybody probably knows how one of these looks. But, meh, there it is. I'm not gonna bother reassembling this because it didn't work anyway. See ya. I think.